We can capture what we see through the camera. Yes, we are going to compare their working in this video. An eye is an organ of sight, while a camera is an instrument that is used to record images. So, an eye cannot record an image. Let me tell you how the eye works. The cornea is the cap of the eye. It's a transparent, hard skin in front of the eye. The light coming from an object enters the eye through the iris and passes through the pupil, forming a real and inverted image on the retina. The optic nerve then carries the image in the form of signals to the brain. Yes, the retina of a camera is called a film. Let me tell you about the working of a camera. The camera captures an image the same way an eye sees an object. The lens of a camera is transparent and located at the front of the body. When the button of the camera is pressed, the light coming from the object enters the camera through the shutter and aperture, forming a real and inverted image on the film. Let's have a closer look to compare the eye and the camera in detail. There is a convex lens in the eye, located after the iris, that refracts the light rays coming from an object onto the retina. But in a camera, the lens is located at the front of the body. When the button of a camera is pressed, the shutter that is placed behind the lens opens for a while. The light coming from the object enters the camera through an aperture and passes through the shutter. When the aperture increases, more light can enter the camera. The aperture is an opening of a diaphragm behind the lens. Whereas in an eye, the iris acts like the diaphragm of the camera. The opening at the center of the iris is called the pupil. The pupil is just like the aperture of a camera. When the light is dim, the iris contracts and the pupil becomes larger so that more light can enter the eye. And when the light is bright, the iris expands and makes the pupil smaller so that less light can enter the eye. So, in a camera, the aperture is the pupil. When the aperture decreases, less light gets in. The lens in the camera forms a real and inverted image of an object on the film by collecting the refracted light. Similarly, the eye's lens forms a real and inverted image of the object on the retina. Recall that the inner layer of the back wall of an eye is called the retina. The optic nerve carries this real and inverted image in the form of signals to the brain, and the brain interprets it correctly. So this is how the eye and the camera function, but there are also some differences. In a camera, the lens is moved back and forth to focus the image on the film, but the lens in the eye does not move. Instead, the ciliary muscles contract or expand to thicken or flatten the lens. This allows the image to form on the retina. The eye can also adapt to the dark, and within a few seconds, one can start seeing better in the dark. However, if a camera is not equipped to capture images in the dark, it can never adapt to darkness. Now you know the difference between the working of the camera and the eye. Let's summarize what we have learned today. The camera and the eye have many similarities as well as differences. Both work on the same basic principle. A convex lens refracts light from objects and forms real images onto the film or retina. The amount of light can be adjusted by making the aperture or pupil bigger or smaller. However, the specific mechanisms differ. For instance, the camera's lens is movable, while the eye's lens is fixed but can be stretched or relaxed.